Hey everybody, Aaron from The Impatient Gardener. I think it's time to do some bulb planting. Lots of bulbs on the agenda this year. I have no idea how many I'm gonna plant. I didn't add it up because it makes that makes it feel very overwhelming very quickly, but lots of alliums and certainly lots of daffodils, mostly daffodils. Uh, a little bit of iris reticulata, lots of tulips in the vegetable garden like I did last year. Uh, but what I'm gonna do in this garden behind me is something a little different. Now we're standing on the west side of the house. This is what I call the west garden. Uh, this is right, al obviously right along the house. That's the chimney behind me. And last year I edited this bed pretty heavily. Um, so this bed is the only bed on the property that is the same basic shape and size that it was when we bought this house 20, almost 20 years ago. Um, and the only plants that I believe still remain on this property that were here when we got here are the two peonies that are in this bed. They don't do great, but they hang in there and I just let them be a sort of paying, you know, respecting those who planted them before me. In this bed, basically, we've got one corner that is largely taken up by um, a very old and sort of rapidly expanding Annabelle hydrangea. There's an invincible spirit two hydrangea behind that. The other corner I've got a Wygela in, those peonies. And then straight behind me I've got a Asian pear, espaliate against the fireplace, and in front of that a row of tough stuff hydrangeas. Last spring I went through and pulled out everything else that was in this bed other than those plants that I just named. And I replaced them all with just three plants. Calamintha Montrose White, which is the primary plant, uh, Sanguisorba, whose name is escaping me right now, but it's a nice one. Um, all Sanguisorbas are a nice one, but it's a tall one. Flowers get tall. And um, Big Beauty Allium, which is a perennial allium, one of these later blooming ones that you plant as a plant, not as a bulb. Uh, and this is a Brent Horvath introduction that uh, some of the parentage is Summer Beauty. And the flower color is that same color as Summer Beauty, if you know that one. It's a bit on the pale side. I wish it had a little bit more color in it, but the size makes up for it because it stands probably 18 inches tall. It's quite a bit taller than your average summer blooming allium, which is really nice. So it stands up above other plants and it offers really nice texture. And the flowers are fairly big on it too. I'm going to keep this kind of simple concept going in this garden by planting just two kinds of bulbs. The first is a crown imperial uh, fritillaria, um, and that is, that is fritillaria rubra maxima. Uh, this is what the bulb looks like right here. Uh, these are the ones that look like crazy spiky orange or yellow flowers. This is the orange one. Um, I've planted these before. Uh, they can be tough because they rot really easily. So um, I had one that's come back three years in a row now. I believe I planted three that year and I had one really good one this year and then one was quite a bit smaller so it probably won't come back next year. So when I plant these, I sort of think of these as probably two year plants maybe, um, but you never know what'll happen. So this is the bulb for this. It's a, um, you know, nice size bulb. Uh, because they are prone to rotting, and they have a little bit of a, 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 can have like a little bit of a divot here. What I do is I always plant these sideways. If you plant them sideways, there's nowhere for water to like sit in that bulb. Bulbs figure themselves out in the ground. So it doesn't have to be pointing the right side up. You plant it, if you ever can't tell which way to plant a bulb, plant it sideways and it'll figure it out. It'll probably figure it out either way, by the way. So I plant these sideways. I've got 12 of these. I'm gonna plant these in four groups of three. And then I'm going to add into this Allium gladiator, which is um, one of the big ball types of gladiator, or of Allium, excuse me, of Alliums. But it's not like six feet tall. I think it's like three and a half to four feet tall, three and a half feet tall. Hang on, let me grab the bag and we'll just find out. So all these bulbs are from Longfield Gardens, by the way. I've been getting my bulbs from them for probably a decade now. Um, okay, Allium, uh, gladiator Allium is a purple ball type. Uh, 35 to 45 inches tall, which I think is the appropriate height for this, for this bed. I'm going to plant these sort of randomly throughout the bed rather than in a pattern. So the crown imperial fertilities, that's a mouthful, will be clustered together, four clusters of three, and the alliums will be spread throughout the bed. So the general rule with planting bulbs is that you want to plant them two to three times, the depth should be two to three times the height of the bulb. In most cases, that ends up being like four to six inches. To be okay, I think we should whip this, be able to whip this out really quick. Let's go for it. 
Uh, by the way, these um, uh, fritillarias do have a rather skunky smell when you take them out of the bag. Um, I have never noticed it when they're blooming unless you get right up next to it. Some people say the smell is so bad that it's a, a turnoff. I find it to be a turnoff for the animals, but I've never even noticed it unless I got right up next to it. So it doesn't bother me in the least. I have six left. So the question is, I was actually had another place where I was planning on using these, but I'd rather make one place look good and kind of be finished with bulb planting there for a few years, than spread it out and have to come back. So the question is, do I want to plant some sort of interspersed, they would look like they're interspersed amongst the hydrangeas there, or do we want to leave that alone? What do you think? It's only six, I think I'm gonna put them in. This is where the long auger really shines because I don't know how else you'd even think about getting in there if it weren't for that. Okay, first official bulb planting, at least at my house, done. Now we just wait. So if there is anything good about uh, perhaps having so much on your plate that you sometimes get a little forgetful, it's that the odds are by spring I'll forget I had planted these and it'll be a great surprise. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day in your garden. Plant some bulbs. See you soon, bye.